Hello and welcome back to Awful Place. We're sneaking around. Oh shit. Fuck. Hate stealth. I'm very bad at stealth. Good. How exactly am I giving him instructions? Let me just see what's over here. Nothing but us wine bottles, apparently. Okay. How am I supposed to get this? Ah. What's this? Tap? Dear Andrea, we've been stuck down this hole since January and I can't stand it anymore. I'm, I'm sick to the back teeth with, the, with living like a rat. I really missed my life as it was before, strolling beneath the linden trees with you. I even miss working in the factory. Hmm. Hmm. Is it this way? You know what? I could almost see it being this way. What's the deal with that? What what is the point of that? Okay. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Soldiers were fed by the respective armies, but they also received puzzles from back home to improve their daily lot. Tins of fish or pate gave them more copious nutritional meat than their daily army fare. Okay. There's the there's the crank I need. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can... Oh shit. I'm sorry for getting so silent. <laughs> What's this? Okay. 
Okay, that is interesting. Okay, I need the crank. Let's see. Okay. I think I understand. I go in here. Doggy does that. I take this. Yeah! Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense than I what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought the dog was going to retrieve it. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's see. We're still being sneaky here. Oh, I can't dig there. Oh, shit. Am I seriously doing this? had escaped again, but Emil had still managed to find medicine for Freddy. Thank you, my friend. They were quickly back on the road again. Their journey would take them to Rans, where they would at last pick up the trail of the elusive Baron and his Zeppelin. Oh shit. He's bombing rains! That son of a bitch! Okay, I'm not getting back that way. Oh shit. Okay. Rheims Cathedral, the city of Rheims, suffered during the war. September 19th, 1914, as the Germans retreated from the city, they set fire to the cathedral. Then, as the city was so close to the conflict zone, it was um, bombarded by zeppelins and cannon fire. During the bombardment, of the statue of Joan of Arc in front of the cathedral lost a hand before it was dismantled, dismantled and stored in catacombs. By the end of the war, only 1,500 inhabitants were still living in Rheims. With practically all able-bodied men mobilized at the front, women, children, and the elderly were employed in factories to ensure weapons production. Women took on the traditional male jobs. Some even held positions of responsibility. This new role changed their status in society, and in the wake of the war, women over 30 years old were given the vote. Women's Institute held its first meeting in 1915 with aim of encouraging women to become more involved in food production during the war and the movement flourished. Ah, uh, Carl is alive. I caught sight of him flying a Zeppelin heading south. We're going looking for him again tomorrow with Anna and Freddy. This morning in Ypres, one dwarf made us capture some scientist. The army is interested in his work and apparently he'll help Germany with the war. 
He seems like a nice fellow, but it's hard to find out, of out anything else about him. One dwarf is keeping him closely guarded. Not a day goes by that I don't think about my Marie and my little Victor. I haven't seen them for eight months now. I missed him so much. Shit. Holy, Holy fuck balls. Not cool. Oh, he's he's angry. He is pissed. Okay, what do we do about her? Oh no, my friend, my family, oh no, what the fuck do we do about that? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not how that's supposed to go. Oh no! Good doggy. What's in here? What do we do about that one? No! No! We gotta help him, dude. I'm coming, dude. That won't do. That won't do. Clippers, do we have any sort of scissors? No, that's not it. Get that one. Okay, let's go. But we need to come back for the crank. Ah, shit. Oh, man, <laughs> this is... I love this art style. I, love, oh, I, I can't stop saying that, but it's really like... Okay. Okay. He's alive, I'm guessing. Made his way out. Ah. Okay. Actually, I think we might be going in there. I don't like the thought of it, but get that one. Good. Come back, please. Well, Godmother Certificate to improve morale on the front, an association was created in France in early 1915 to provide succor and support from behind the lines for soldiers without close families. The Royal Godmother sent letters and parcels from in close relations with their godchildren away from the front. While gas masks were in more widespread use on the front, they were also available to civilians, and in French towns close to the front like Reims, they were fairly common. 
This early model was one of the first composed of cotton compressed dyes in a neutralizing solution and applied to the mouth and nose, similar to the British black veil. Okay. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, I know. Fuck, we forgot the crank. Left it over here. Completely forgot the hunt. Okay. SOS. Oh. He needs to crank. Hmm. Coming, buddy. Practically all able-bodied men were mobilized at the front, but production still had to carry on. Women took over the men's roles in factories and the other traditional male positions, working for much lower salaries. Some even held positions of responsibility and were involved in decision-making. This new role changed women's status in British society. Good doggy. You stay there. No, doggy. Doggy. Sit. I'm guessing this is some sort of kitchen elevator. Those were fairly common back in the day. You go over there. Oh! The r safety eraser was an early 20th century invention and shaped more safety than safely than barber's plates. In 1917, safety erasers were a standard issue in US soldiers' kit because it had been noticed that gas masks provided more effective protection to shaved faces. Okay. Good. Ow! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. Get the twistless. At least it's saved up to this point. It's, I know they're not called twistless, but, uh. What is this up here? <coughs> What's that? Oh, this um, graphical error. I can live with that. It's a graphical error. Nothing over here. Nope. Okay. Or just something in the foreground. I thought the dog was going to walk up that thing. Alright. Here we go. Good. No, 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 no. 
Not yet. I need to save that guy. Wait, did I already? I think we don't need that anymore. <laughs> well, this is a good little doggy. Dirk, Dirk, Dirk. I guess we don't need to do that. Okay, fine. Let's get pushing. <laughs> Two men missing. Okay. Who's missing? Okay. Good. Wait. Oh, I thought I missed something. Crap. Mm, let's go with the doggy though. What's going on? What's he doing? I don't even have a gun. Guys! Oh shit. Okay, well thank you guys for watching this episode of Fairfield Place. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join us next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye!